We know it's late in the season in Madden 23. Madden 24 is a couple months away and I'm still dropping tips videos. And this is the reason why. You wanna take this time out to learn the concepts that I'm showing you to be ready for Madden 24. So what I would suggest you do is take Madden 23, go into the lab practice mode and do 100 reps of uh, secondary adjustments as far as your defensive backs, then do 100 reps of uh, linebacker adjustments and do 100 reps of defensive line adjustments, man. You wanna try to get as fast as you can making adjustments because what's gonna happen, Madden 24 is going to drop and if it's like the past 10 Maddens, it's gonna be the same damn thing, all right? As far as adjustments and how to activate them and, and do your own moves, right? on your defensive side. So you wanna make sure that you master those now in Madden 23 so you're ready for Madden 24 because if they're dropping the game one year apart, there's no way they can rebuild it. It's all old coding, so it's probably just gonna, they're gonna nerf and buff a couple plays, add a couple features, but the core of the game is still the same legacy coding that they've been using for so long. So I would imagine, unless they surprise us, I would expect it to still be the same. So if I were you, learn the offensive concepts that I show you, Go to the members area, look at the schemes because the concepts will work in Madden 24 if it's just a copy and paste like it is every damn year. Today, we're gonna be in the flex trade. By the way, all the, all the meta stuff is in the members area. So if you're new, check it out, all right? Become a member today. Small fee, nothing compared to what people charge for one ebook. You get it all for one small fee. Flex Tray. I'm gonna show you guys something uh, because people run cover three, they'll run the matches and stuff like that. But let me just show you Flex Tray two plays one is going to be the verticals four verticals and the next one is going to be shallow cross okay so we're gonna go ahead and just put shallow cross let's take hitch corners out we'll put shallow cross into the lineup you can run strong flood too if you want but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come out shallow cross and this is really good against cover three because when you're running verticals against cover three it's ideally you want to hit that rb route you see this rb route on the right side Right? A lot of people know this when they play and they're using cover three and they see this formation. This guy is going to be open every single damn time in four verticals. Do it again. So you'll see it one more time, four verticals. But a lot of the users know to play that area. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, you'll see that this guy's open again. I'm gonna show you a way to throw it on the small side, on the short side of the field. And we're gonna use shallow cross for this one. All we're going to do is we're gonna put Y on the street. So now your opponent doesn't know are you gonna run verticals? RB's gonna take off straight like he is. It'll probably bite the user. The smarter players just know, jump that way for the vertical route. However, we can finesse them with this route right here, which is going to be our Y route right over here on the left side. Now, let me show you what's happening in this play. You'll notice that in the shallow cross, the X route, he will hold the outside third down just because of his double move. He'll hold him down a little bit, okay? Just enough to get us by. That's all we're looking for just enough to get us by he will sit low just to get us by to create an opening for this guy okay now what you can also do is streak a streak y like this this will force the middle third to be honest stay honest within the play same thing right here he bounces off and i just throw it right here the users are looking for rb now can you do this in four verticals i would imagine you could let's go ahead and give it a try now remember this is a little bit different because the middle third is sitting kind of low. So you may, if the user's sitting over there, you may have to just look somewhere else. But right here, it looks like it opens up perfect. So you can do this from four verticals. The advantage that shallow cross gives you here is that you have a mesh concept. So when it's time, we can actually come underneath. Whether it's hard flats or not, they can't get to these routes in time. And you can just blend it all in together. No one's gonna wanna play cover three against you. Uh, and they're not gonna wanna play cover two against you. You can also utilize uh, my route concept that I created, which is the zig route. Let's go ahead and just send Y on the street. You can run the out route slant drag and you wanna look for your A route right here. Typically this is the move, boom, easy money. This guy always gets open, son, okay? Cover three, we just destroy cover three in these situations, in these scenarios, okay? So like I said, you have these. You can also, can use the glitch setup. RB on the hitch, A on the streak slide protect right and if you have the time then it's b all day now right there i kind of messed that up you want to wait a little bit i just felt like the pressure was there don't be a bum like me let your routes get over i'm gonna try it one more time okay you can leave the comeback since it's already a stock comeback route you'll be all right so here we go again now what happens here is i'll show you guys an instant replay what happens on that play is 
the hitch route glitches out the cloud or the curl flat. They don't jump to their assignment. I mean, they jump out there, but then he pulls them back in and that's just the way this glitch works. So clear out here. This guy didn't actually clear out though. So it's gonna be a little iffy, depends on your cornerback. So be careful with that as well. Um, against cover two, if it's like Tampa two, you can really cook it with uh, with covered uh, verticals as well. So verticals from empty, a lot of people struggle against these five wide formations just because they're that good. And I recommend that if you're playing Madden, you wanna take advantage of empty formations. Now, the only problem in this game is that the pass rush is better. So having to wait for a lot of the routes, it, it's damn near impossible, okay? But we will try to look for this B route right here, okay? So over the right side against Tampa 2, you have this little opening right here. You wanna take advantage of that and you wanna throw that to the outside. Pass lead it away toward the sideline. Now, will it work every single time? Probably not, but let's try it stock. Right here, the opening, catch and run, take off down the sideline. So you're seeing just how brutal it can be. All right, and then within this formation flex tray, you have a play called, or if I can find it, it's flood. It's flood. You have practice curl, you have stick and nod, which is good if you're running against man defense. Uh, but strong flood is another one that you can use. And this one's ideally if you cover two, cover any zone defense, because you have the RB route, you have the flat route. So when you snap the ball, boom. Now, one thing that I do recommend that if you're facing this defense, you just throw the touchdown. So strong flood against cover two defense, it's good. But what I would recommend you do, right? Check this out. Is I would smoke screen B, streak RB, and then put A on a smart rider. So you could do this even with verticals. You could do the same damn thing with verticals. We can hold down cloud flats, or we could throw the B route, catch and run, go up the field. If they play hard flats, then you hit the out route. Very, very easy. So what I would recommend you do, if you don't want to use strong flood, just go to four verticals. That'd be your stock base play, right? Against the zones, of which is cover two, cover three. And then you want to set your A route as the out route, smart route it. You want to streak RB and a smoke screen B. Slide protect right. And if they sit low, if they don't, you know your flats automatically open. You catch and run, go up the field and get all your damn yards. That easy. It is that easy when you're playing this game. And you can come back to your mesh concepts or whatnot. You can even try, right? You see this X route coming over the field? You can run a clear out with A, which will force the mid read back. Y on the out route to force the cloud or the soft squat. And you can try to hit X on the in route. So here, right, he pass, boom, easy money. It's all about timing and spacing, man. So there it is. I want to share this with you guys. Cover three, cover two. If, if you're facing man defense, you can just run double zigs, put your best receivers out. Utilize tight end because remember, these tight ends, they, the way they run routes, They'll cook most people in the damn game regardless of the uh, of the ratings and ability. Bro, I could take a 60 overall, run a zig route, and he'll cook some of the best players in the game. It's just the way it is. I don't know why, but it's tight ends uh, specifically. Not wide receivers, but tight ends are the ones you want to utilize the most against man defense. Drop a like. Love you guys, man. Peace.